Hello! With version 6 of VDAP tools, we are bringing freestyle rigging to the forefront. The freestyle rigging tool, that's this tool that is usually grouped with Kineflex, is now as stable and as polished as it can be. So freestyle rigging is now our preferred method of smart magnet rigging. There are two ways of selecting the tool. Obviously one would be to choose it from the tools panel and another method would be to use a shortcut key assigned to the freestyle rigging tool command. In this case the shortcut key is F4. This is the default EDAP tools shortcut but you can assign your own if you dislike this particular one. So when you select the freestyle rigging tool the cursor becomes crosshairs or a plus and you rig by dragging from one element toward another element. Those symbols, just like any elements for smart magnet rigging, have to be adaptable, which means that their registration and transformation points should match. Now, before I start rigging, I would like to show you what happens if we are not in a keyframe. I'll click on the torso and drag toward the neck and we get a warning that we must be in a keyframe. So in this case I should either create a keyframe here or move my playback head to frame 1 which is a keyframe. And now I can start rigging. So when I click on the torso and drag toward the neck, you can see we get a bounding box around the torso with two diagonals and double circle at the center which indicates that this is my source element and then the target elements as we roll over them get dashed line bounding boxes. So as you roll over the elements you can see which elements can be rigged. Now I will release over the neck and upon release we got adapt objects here created and we got this confirmation which says the neck is now connected to the torso. I can continue by dragging from the neck toward the head. The head is now connected to the neck. So I have to just keep going. I'll ring the tail. And now when we've already rigged a bunch of elements, we can see that the ones that have already been rigged have solid bounding boxes around them which means that you can't rig them again they are unavailable for rigging while these other ones which have not yet been rigged still display the dashed line bounding boxes okay so let's just continue with this arm now i'll drag from the upper arm Toward the lower arm you can see how the upper arm now has the diagonals and the solid box and this will be the case with the lower arm as well targeting the hand now let me make a mistake because we have obviously this area here with the other arm is quite difficult so I'll make a mistake I will click on the torso and instead of rigging the upper arm which is behind the torso we can actually do that but I'll make a mistake and I'll rig the lower arm to the torso and I will correctly rig the hand to the lower arm and then I will just move on and rig the leg so I'll rig this leg and say oh now I realize that I've made a mistake. So how do I fix this kind of a mistake? On well, the best way, let's say I've identified it, 
somehow or I just remembered that I've made a mistake. The easiest way to re-rig these elements would be to select them. Just select them and use the remove rig info button here which will erase the rig info from these two elements so that I can rig them again. Now before I erase the rig info if I choose the freestyle rigging tool again you can see they are rigged and this one I, I missed the upper arm. Now I will just drop outside of anything I will select these two remove the rig info I get this dialog which asks me what exactly I'll remove everything and then grab the freestyle rigging tool again and I will continue with the other leg first I'll leave this arm for last so I'll rig this upper leg and the lower leg and the foot and now just to simplify my life I will hide everything except for the torso and this arm and I will put the torso in outline mode so that I can see my arm behind the torso this makes things a little easier so I'll choose the freestyle rigging tool again and start from the torso target this upper arm first now if I don't want the torso to be in the way I can hide it and just finish my rig okay so all rigging is done now I can test the rig by dragging the master parent then pressing one with chain selects everything this is smart transform and then i'll press tilde which will be smart magnet joint and this will snap all the elements in place if the elements snap correctly that means that everything is rigged the way we want it so i'll just grab kineflex now and holding down shift i'll bring the rabbit back into position now forward kinematic is instantly available and on top of that i can give him ik controllers and i can start posing him oh so let's do that i'll give him four effectors just in one go so i'll select these elements and press the ik effectors button looking at the direction of these effectors these have the correct directions while these need to be flipped horizontally so i'm flipping them horizontally with a shortcut if i grab the kineflex tool again you can see we have inverse kinematics ready to go let's just create another keyframe here pressing X this is convert to keyframe advanced and now I can hold down shift and drag the character down to change his position obviously these need constraints so that they don't overextend but this is a matter of a different tutorial I will just uh, change his pose just a little bit to make it more natural looking, more appealing and show you something else. I'll hide these uh, controllers for now and let's say we already have some animation. So we've created this, this animation and at some point we decide that we would like to give this uh, character a balloon in his hand so let me just draw a balloon i'll just draw it in this um, in this frame so from from this frame onward we would like to have a balloon attached to his hand okay 
Oh, this is this is my balloon. I'll convert it to a symbol. I will go inside. Give it a little string. And I will re-register this balloon so that it is registered here. This should be my registration point, right? I'll stop it. I will drag his hand just like this. And I will move the balloon somewhere here. Say, okay, this, this is the position where I would like the balloon to connect with the hand. I'll hide the effectors again. Let me see if I have a more suitable hand. Not, not really. But anyway, let's, let's consider this one to be uh, good enough. I'll, uh, I'll drag the balloon behind. And all I need to do is grab the freestyle rigging tool and drag from the hand toward the balloon. Now the balloon is a part of the smart magnet rig, so I can snap it to the hand. And if I show the effectors, the balloon will be a part of the rig. So if I switch these and move the rabbit, you can see the balloon's already a part of the rig. This is how easy it is to add an element to an existing rig. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.